America, Captain Hart? We have a job to do. This time it is even more important than your previous splendid work with the Free French. Thank you, sir. And I feel that Carby is most vital to the Allies. I understand, sir. You and Sergeant Jenkins will leave immediately for a preliminary survey. And this isn't going to be easy, because you'll have to deal with Chief Salangi. Chief Salangi, sir? Who's he? One of the tribal leaders. A scoundrel. A Nazi whistling. He's been traveling all over the colony, trying to prepare a fifth column uprising for Hitler. I need not remind you, this is worse than all the dangers of the jungle. Yes, sir. It will also be your duty to act, uh, shall we say, as an ambassador at law, and to try to prevent the chief's influence from spreading. Do all you can to promote goodwill and our friendship toward them. Remember, time is an important factor. I'll do my best, sir. Which will be good enough, I'm sure. I shall start the detachment for Carby in two weeks. We'll be ready for them, sir. The native carriers and supplies are now waiting for you at Dalhousie. Be careful of your surveying instruments. They are scarce. Any questions? No questions, sir. Then good luck, Captain Hart. Thank you, sir. And you too, Sergeant. Remember, keep an eye on Chief Salangi and the native. Yes, sir. Not Broadway and 42nd Street. What were you dreaming about? United States were two of the most beautiful dolls you ever seen. All sometime, like in Coney Island, and we're in Salon. Listen, Junior, the glamour girls in Africa are just a trifle more than Sunday. Yeah? Yeah, and they don't wear sarongs. Oh, sarongs? Hey, what are you getting me into? Can't we get these red caps to carry this stuff? about her. Say is true. 
But those devils wouldn't have a chance with Chief Salangi and his savages. And you, they're just waiting for a chance to boil you alive because of your influence over these people. I kill him. No, Kulea. Things are bad enough without getting these natives at each other's throats. Why, Chief Salangi started eight column here. No, fifth column. Well, fifth column or eighth column. You're not helping any by starting a war now. <laughs> I go so longy, much go watcha, much go watcha. Kulea. Kulea, child, won't you try to understand? I understand. Dr. Harrigan, very smart man. But I still want to kill Chief Salangi. No. I think you'd better come with me. Anna. Anna! What is it? Watch the tavern. I have some business to attend to. Business? I'm tired of your business, tired of the jungles. I want to get out of here. Hold your tongue. This place is driving me crazy. Oh, George, please, let's go away. Please. Shut up. As I was saying, my dear, killing is one of the law instincts. We must always learn to keep it under control. What about drinking whiskey, Doctor? It'll kill you very soon that way. Yes, I, I admit drinking is very unfortunate. No one knows that better than I. Oh, I'm sorry, Doctor. Kulea, she is very dumb, Scott. No, child. You're very smart. Kalea, wouldn't you like to get away from Caribbean? Oh, no. I like Caribbean. Kalea likes to swim, shoot jungle cat, whack birds. I belong here. No, you don't belong. Kalea not belong here? Well, I, I didn't mean that. I remember your mother and father were missionaries. They didn't run around best like that or hunt lions. Wild birds? Maybe if they did, they would kill Shilangi before he killed them. What do you mean by that? Expected every day. I pray to God they will arrive in time to save my wife and baby. Thank you, Sheikh Salam. Now I get Grito and I go. Claire, I want you to promise me one thing. And don't forget all about Chief Salam. John, I'm not very well up on Bible technique, but I've done the best I could with her. It's been quite a strain spiritually. Spiritually. I feel the need of a little drink. Gary. What do you want? Let's rest a while. Before the war, I wouldn't have done this for all the salons in Africa. Listen, sweetheart, didn't I? Okay, okay, so there ain't any salons in Africa. Well, why not? 
I ask you, why not? Ain't we doing our duty? One little sarong would give me something to sweat for. <laughs> okay, cheer up, cheer up, sweetheart. You'll soon be up to your ears in work, and you won't have time to think about women. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Listen, come on, let's go. Jerry Hammer! So you can rest and you stop me now. All I want to do is just sit down for a while. Wait. Yeah. According to this map, Caribbean must be less than five miles away. Shall we get out and walk? It's such a lovely day. What's the matter with you? Look, a fugitive from Barnum and Bailey. Oh, the mm. Don't be afraid. Remember the old adage, never bother a lion, he won't bother you. Who's bothering him? Did I say anything? Did I so much? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. Enjoy, how about? Shickle Grubber with his hair down. Now don't worry, Ponga. I'm not going to let anything happen to you and your boys. Tell them to pick up their packs and go ahead. No go. Bad sign. No go. Now listen. Here, let me talk to him. Now listen, Ping Pong. White man, your friend. You get scalped from Japs and Nazis. You give Pongo present. No go. Maybe boys get killed. Scared. How do you like that? Listen, we gotta get this stuff to Caribbean or the Allies won't get that airfield. Maybe we ought to call a cab. Listen, Ponga, do you know what this gun can do? Yes, shoot, kill. Hey, you better tell that gang of those to pick up those packs like good little boys. White man kill all over. White man make war. This, bad sign. Chief Salanga, bring white man's war. Now we're getting somewhere. Did you say Chief Salangi? Yes, he here. Uh, Mama here say he here. Uh, make trouble. Ah, so that's it. That's the trouble the Major warned us about. Yeah? Well, if he's here, why don't he come out and fight like a man? <laughs> hey, there they go. Hold it. Trying to find a needle in a haystack. Let's get back to the boys. Looks like they ditched us. Yeah, that makes us a couple of babes in the woods. And brother, I mean woods. What do we do now? Uh, I guess we gotta leave the packs here. Then when we get more natives at Caribbean, we can come back and pick them up. Let's go. Rico! Rico, look! Mike, listen. Yeah. Boy, it's that boogie woogie. Must be close to some village. We'll go there and get some help.
Convention of zombies. Uh -oh. Our Western Union boys are delivering a singing telegram. You see what I see? Yeah. Quick, follow me. Wait a minute. Might be a trick. Yeah, a cute trick. Quick. Wonder what a game is. Whatever it is, I'll play on her team. Come with me. I'm your friend. 
Maybe at a time like this, you'd better be. Hurry! What do you think? Better take a chance. Here. Now, wait a minute. Who are you? I'm Kalea. I help you. Hurry! Hurry! Quick! She looks like the real McCoy. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. With these pikes, are you kidding? Better take a chance and hide What's a pretty girl like you doing in the jungle? Why, pretty man in jungle. <laughs> I want to thank you, lady. Yeah, you saved my life, baby. Yeah, why don't you tell us you couldn't swim, stupid? At a time like this, do I know what I'm doing? Where you go? My lady, we're going to Caribbean. Can you, uh... Caribbean? Yeah. Yes, I'll take you. I live Caribbean. Come. Oh. No sarongs in Africa, huh? Hey, come here, come here, come here. Julia, the arrow belongs to her. It was meant for me. It may be necessary to eliminate her, like the missionary parents years ago. Remember the influence she has among the natives. That is your boy. Now, what about the engineers? I will see. Answer me. And don't harm Kathir al Marakani. Let them get away as a fine man. Instead of speeding up our plans, we are falling back. Let me remind you once more of the destiny of the Third Reich. I do not need reminding here, Lucas. I know these natives better than you. The law of the jungle always has been and always will be a thing apart from the white man's law. New order or no, it must be dealt with according. In my own way. Uh, we shouldn't lose our tempers this way. You're quite right. I must get back to Caribbean. Perhaps the Americans are there by now. There's Caribbean. Gosh, I'm sure glad to see that place. I want to thank you, miss. Hey, baby, what's your phone number? Phone? What's his phone? Oh, well, just put a nickel on the phone. Wait a minute. Pick up the... Leah, I want to ask you something. What do you ask? Did you kill that native back there? Keeps Salangi bring death in the jungle and make everybody scared. Salangi? You don't mean that big guy with all those feathers, those beads, all that stuff around his neck. That was... Chief Salangi. Can you imagine that, Sarge? And we were only a few feet away from him. Yeah, you think he'd be mad because we didn't drop in for tea? I bet he had something to do with killing one of our boys. Next time I kill him. Then it was you. You did kill that native. I don't know. You keep eyes shut like jungle cats. Much danger. Say, so wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, where do you live? What, what a dish. Gosh, can you imagine that badge? A white girl in the African jungle. Probably raised by the natives. I wonder who she is, where she came from, what she's doing here. Why worry about details? Well, wherever she is, I bet, I bet we run into her again. She can tip us off to a lot of things. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, maybe she's got a girlfriend. For you. Let's get care of it. FHA loan. Quiet, Sergeant. You're in the Army now. <laughs> hey, I'm beginning to like Africa. Well, welcome, gentlemen. American? Oh, yes, miss. I'm Captain Gary Hart of the Free French. How do you do, Captain? How do you do? Sergeant Jenkins. Glad to meet you. I'm Anna Lucas. My husband and I own the tavern. You look as if you've gone through ten wars, Captain. <laughs> Lady, what happened to us should happen to Hitler. What this sergeant means, miss, is that we can use a little food and sleep. Well, then you've come to the right place. I uh, hope you find everything you need right here. Well, we've got no one to blame but ourselves. Won't you come in? Thank you. Hey, she's sort of a home type, ain't she? Now listen, Junior. I want you to keep your mind in surveying and keep your trap shut about what happened today. About Kulea and everything. No telling what we'll run into. Yeah, you think I'm that dumb? <laughs> Someday I'll answer that question. Yeah, well, I wish you would. Won't you sit down and have a drink? Fine. Yeah, I mind if we do. Are you going to stay long? Yeah, well, long enough to whip up an airport. Oh. How interesting. I was wishing for some kind of excitement. I can carry me to be terribly monotonous. If you're looking at two big hunks of excitement, we'll have this place chubby. Why didn't you tell me, Anna? Welcome, my friends, to Canada. This is my husband, George Captain Hart. How do you do, sir? And Sarge. So Mike Jenkins is the name. Good to meet you, gentlemen. There isn't very much comfort here, I'm afraid, but our hospitality is unequal. Your wife has made us feel quite at home already. Has uh, she? Well, my wife and myself will be both of your first. These gentlemen are going to build an airfield at Caribbean. Is that so? Not quite. You see, we're just uh, surveyors with the Free French Engineering Corps. Just surveyors? Why, General De Gaulle and us are just like that. <laughs> well, in that case, your presence is an honor, Sergeant. We'd like to clean up a bit before dinner, if you don't mind. Of course, I'll, I'll show you to your room. You gentlemen must have run into some trouble. Did your carriers walk out on you? Yeah. How did you know? Well, it is nothing unusual. Murder, native uprisings are increasing since the war. When did it all end? Oh, war, war. You must promise me not to talk about it, at least until after dinner. It's a promise. This way, gentlemen. Swine. Uh, this is your room. Dinner will be ready as soon as you are. Thank you. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you to make your stay more comfortable, please don't hesitate to ask. You're very kind. Hey, there's something about that gal puzzles me. She probably feels the same way about you, Sergeant. Well, there's nothing complicated about me. <laughs> You're telling me. More wine? No, thank you. I want to offer a toast to the war. We're bringing to Caribbean, folks. Charming, yes. Well put, my dear. I'll drink to that. Play the gramophone, Anna. Perhaps you and Captain Hart would like to dance. Oh, Anna, she scarcely gets a chance to dance. Perhaps Captain Hart does no good to dance. As a matter of fact, I like you very much. Sure, go ahead and dance with the Captain, Mr. Smokers. He's so light on your feet. <laughs> good. <laughs>
I'm afraid I don't dance too well, Mrs. Lucas. You did very well, Captain. Thank you. I did that for 152 hours one time. Then what happened? I don't know. I woke up in a hospital and nurse hold my hand. So I said, what am I doing at surgery? Nice lady, but I'm in the army now. Captain, you're a delightfully stubborn man. <laughs> I must congratulate you, my dear Anna. Your flirtation with the Americans was a wonderful smokescreen. For a while, I thought it was real. Fancy me. <laughs> the jealous husband. Good night. Captain Hart and Sergeant Jenkins will hold a flirtation with death.
the matter? Nothing. Mind if I walk with you? You like women in seven. Like women? Oh, you mean Mrs. Lucas. Yeah, she's all right, I suppose. Well, they're close and dense. You like that, huh? Why, well, yeah. What do you mean? Why, you walk with me. Go away. Clear hate you. What's got into you? What get into you? Now, listen, what's this all about? Sorry. Something inside make me hate the other woman when you hold her close. Play as she much as she is. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, you're a funny kid. What is funny kid? Well, it means that you're something to write home about. Something that you wanted to meet and yet never really expected to. You nice white man. You act as if you'd never seen a white man before. Not nice white man. Look, it's like old hyena. Doctor, like gentle lamb. But you, you like... I understand. Just something that catches up with two people. Maybe I see. Doesn't feel good. Head feel all right. Something inside here, heartbeat, that make me feel all mixed up. Right. Maybe because Cleo never kissed man before. Maybe Captain Hart dance with me sometime. No, I jungle him. Not like that, Lucas. But I'm not wild. I want to kill the sheep because he is dead. Very sad tonight. Happy too. My funny kid. Oh, Kaleo kept. Who is it? Captain Hart, I, I must speak to you at 
once. Please meet me outside. All right, just as soon as I get some clothes on. Do you want to talk to me? Captain Hart, don't ask questions. Just listen to me. You must be terribly at once. Your life is in danger. My lady, right now, millions of lives are in danger. Oh, don't be a fool. Besides, I'm talking about immediate danger. Right now, perhaps this very moment. Say, why are you so concerned about me? I told you not to ask questions. But I am asking you. And I expect an answer. You fair boy. I told you once before, Mrs. Lucas, I'm in the army now. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. Besides, it so happens I don't want to be the middleman in any marital mix. Hard-headed fool. Upon it! Ah! <laughs> Gary, don't go. Jungle not safe at night. What's the deal? What is it, child? What's, What's the trouble? About? Sheep's a native to kill Captain Hart. So it was one of Salangi's men. Are you sure, Kalea? I'm very sure. Ridiculous. I can't be mentioned by the chief who's going to kill Captain Hart. Well, I've got reason to believe he tried it once before. That he not only frightened off our carriers, but killed one of them besides. I'm inclined to agree with you, Captain. That would be difficult to prove. How blind all of you are. This is all Kalea's doing. She obviously attacked this innocent native. Hoping that her Tanji tribe would war against Chief Salangi's people. This is not true. I love Tanji people. What do you know about love? You're just a bloodthirsty little savage. Oh, dear oh, child, child. Hold it, hold it, here, here, hold it. A dirty little beast. I beast! I see you with Captain Hart. You like wild animal when in his arms. I think I can explain all that, Mr. Lucas. You see. Mrs. Lucas came to warn me about... There is no need to explain further, Captain. Come on, Anna. It's very late. Good night, gentlemen. I do wrong? No, Clay. It's, it's all right. You know, <clears throat> there's nothing like a practical lesson in human behavior. Yes, uh, Don't apologize, son. Kalea's good enough for any man. I knew her mother and father well. Well, what are you thinking about? Uh, what a mess she's got, Captain. Good night. If you have no regard for me, at least remember one thing. You're here for a certain purpose. The Third Reich is more important than your swinish love affairs. You're a servant of the Führer. The Führer? That's all I ever hear. I hate him. I hate you everything. Shut up! Hey, another ten days of this, and I'll have a physique like Buster Crab.
that experience last night, we might easily run into a trap today with those new boys. Better keep our eyes open. Yeah, sure. What about that gal? What gal? What gal? You know what gal. Lucas's wife. Did she really come up here last night to warn you? Yep. Anything else? Anything else, Junior, is a military secret. Okay, Captain Casanova. What about Kalea? What about her? Well, I'm asking you. I suppose you tell me. Oh, fine. Trying to get something out of you is like drilling the Army intelligence. Haven't got time for frivolous things. Can't just attach them to be here in a few days. I want to be ready for them. Frivolous? Hey, which one's frivolous? Kulea or that Lucas girl? That's enough, Junior. The boys are waiting for us. Hurry up. Uh, I'm only trying to get some information. I'm not fucking up with you. That's all right. You see, I'm not savage. They dress like Lucas women. Maybe Captain think I'm funny kid all the time. Maybe he will not kiss Lucas women. He wants to kiss me again. Mm, I like that. Well, Greco, we try something else. It looks like the white men are going to run into some trouble. How, oh, Doctor? They went out into the jungle early this morning. The village natives? No, I never saw them before. That's what worries me. After what happened last night, I... Say, why should Lucas get strange carriers for the captain? After all, there are plenty of natives in the village to do the job. Doctor, no time now to think of Lucas. I go to Captain Hart. No, no, not alone you won't. This time I bring my friends from the village. You go, Doctor. Hurry. Tell natives to get ready. Yes. I dress. Looks like someone beat us to the packs. Yeah, our stuff's gone. What do we do now? Calling card. Yeah, there was only one thing to do to convince those fellas. Stop! Hey, those pigs like to play rough, don't they? Yeah, they tried to lead us into an ambush. Isn't over yet. Frankenstein's still doing business at the old stand. Yeah. Got our equipment, too. Shall we rush him? No, no, there's too many. Quiet! some bullets in their fire. That sure scatter them. It sure looks silly walking up to them and saying, pardon me while I dump some bullets in your fire. Hey, wait a minute. Clear. Can you have that arrow? What's what you do? 
Mike, give me some bullets, quick. Oh, I get it. Sugar, stick around and we'll give you an idea of a Yankee Fourth of July. Done in no time at all. Yeah. When we get this jumping off place till bomb is finished, we, we ought to call it Kalea Field. Well, there wouldn't be any field or, or even us if it wasn't for Kalea. Junior, you got something, yeah? Yeah, that's swell. I'll take it up with the major. Hey, uh, you ain't been seen much of her lately. How come? Mike, has it ever occurred to you that the combination of a girl like Kulea, the tropics, particularly the tropical nights, don't mix with work? Well, you can always give up work. Look, Mike, we got a job to do. We got to do it quick. You know, this thing of Chief Slangy trying to throw a monkey wrench into the work isn't just his idea. What do you mean? Well, oh, the Germans can use an air base down here. And I'd certainly hate to put in all this work only to have the Heinies take over. Yeah, so would I. Hey, forget what I said. I'm with you 100%. Well, it'll be great to see a flock of American bombers taken off from this place, won't it? Uh, certainly will. Only... I'll skip it. Now, wait a minute, Mike. What are you going to say? Uh, just a thought. I mean, when all those flyers get down here, when... Well, it won't be so lonesome. What you seeing there? It's pretty, isn't it? Hello, Claire. I didn't know that you were around. Oh, Claire, find that out. You're not even no Claire living. I'm not see you or talk to you for many days. Sorry about that, but, well, I've been pretty busy. I know. Work, work. Always work. Dr. Cadigan say you finish soon, then you go away. You speak to Yes, I guess so. A fella never knows what'll happen with a war going on. Do you miss me? May I miss you like you miss Guy inside? Only much more. You kiss Kulea and say you'll never go away. Hey! Hey, I thought you were strictly a straight line guy. How come you're going in for Kai? Wait, I'll ride busy. I'll call later. I love you. 
say you'd love her and you'd never leave. Uh, not if I can help it, darling. This war is not going to last forever. You make today a very happy. Boy, very sick. Ask him what happened. him a bit. Why oh, do you look so troubled, my dear? Pinnacle, Tarbiji, Pinko, Americana, Coco, Americana. Stop, you lie. I, Kulea, tell you the truth. Ladi, Sigma, Mura, Sheba, Kardab. Saharim, I'll help you. I'll help your horse. She seems to have everything under control. Junior, she's terrific. Hey, you can... Asa Roko, Asa Hibaringo! Ah, Miko Sabi. Oui, Quenta. Shurei Ahoni. They're coming in to have a look, Doc. What do you say now, you troublemaker? You see, Dr. Hergen has made our men well, and they will live. Now get out. Get out! We are quit us. We go! Blair. You and your schemes. Letting a girl make a fool of you. It could not be avoided. Next time, there will be no interference. You decided to eliminate her? Tonight, my men will take care of Kalea. It will be a relief to be rid of her. Years ago, her mother and father caused me trouble. And you killed them. It was very necessary. Not nearly so necessary as it is to get Kalea out of the way. Our African High Command plans to assume charge here within ten days. The maneuver completes an important pincer movement. Don't worry. Kalea will interfere no more. With Kalea gone? The elimination of the American swine will be comparatively simple. In fact, I have a plan. Anna! What is this? It is the end of your cooperation with the Free French, Captain Hart. Get rest quietly. That's all that mumbling. 
mumbo jumbo duck. Same old story. Calling on the gods for vengeance because we killed those men. The trick of it is, they're not dead at all. He'll pull them out of it with some hocus pocus. And the friendly natives will turn savage with joy. It's like a number to look. Fine thing for a guy from a beautiful place like Brooklyn to have to die in a briar patch like this. Tell them you will restore the dead man back to life in exchange for their help and the lives of the prisoners. No, Rahai. Who probably? Hey, Lucas. I'm Pagogu and Salabogu. Now he's demanding our lives in return for the miracle he's about to perform. Well, Kala do le mo. Kala do le mo. Why did you kill your wife? She was just about to beat Captain Hart. Tuck it on, this is a ceremony. Allah, Urahai. Urahai, Miko, Allah, Urahai. Allah, Urahai. can bring dead man back to life. Show Kulea how you make him live again. Well, go ahead, bring your friend back to life. Go ahead. Well, what are you waiting for? She's calling his bluff. If she gets away with it. Send fighting planes and bombers immediately. Now that's fine, Major. Oh, say, if you've got a chaplain on the post there, you'd uh, better send him along, too. Leia's going to be Mrs. Captain Gary Hart, no? Yes, darling. 